Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Riddles with Cassie, a series where we find some of the weirdest, the funniest, and the most savage riddles on the internet. Cassie is actually waiting for me right now, so no more talking. We're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Gloria is one of the few survivors of the zombie apocalypse in her town. She has to leave her fortified house to get some food and water. Luckily, there are no zombies on her way. She grabs some supplies in the most distant supermarket and she's making a lot of noise driving her car. She's so <laughs> smart as the nearest shops are already empty. On her way back, she realizes that she needs to go to the toilet badly. No! She sees three places she can use. Just go in your pants, man. It's a zombie apocalypse. Bushes, a public restroom, a field. I'm going for the field. Which place is the safest one? Okay, you know what I would do? I would take my pants off and my shoes and my socks and I'd run through the field and I'd <laughs> go to the bathroom while I was running. <laughs> Just to make sure nobody's catching me. Just power dumps? <laughs> <laughs> Just power, power booting. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> guys, I imagine that in my mind right now. Cassie doing that. Please don't imagine that. I imagined it. It's too late. <laughs> That's the smartest thing. Just run. Run dumps. <laughs> run dumps with a helmet on. <laughs> the runs. <laughs> okay, so for B, if zombies get there, she won't have a chance to escape. Worst way to die. Top 10 worst ways to die. And for a field, what? Her back isn't protected. Zombies may sneak up behind. No. You know That's what? Not true. I'm gonna stop that is it right there. True. She has a 360 view of anything coming her way. She can just poo and then keep turning in circles. <laughs> yeah, 360 <laughs> run dumps. What the hell is a bush gonna do? I would do that. I would do the field. <laughs> but with A, the bushes, her back is protected with the wall. I don't agree with that. No, I don't, I don't agree either. With that. And she can peer through the bushes to check if zombies are coming. That's stupid. They could come around the wall and then just yoink her. Two arch enemies. Josh and Tom met each other one day and a genie appeared among them. He granted three wishes to Josh and one to Tom. What? Because Tom sucks. No. Tom wished, give me twice of whatever Josh asked for. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> First, Josh wished a bag with money. <laughs> Shut up. Go Tom. Get Josh him, Tom. wished a bag with money and Tom got two bags. <laughs> then Josh asked for a plane and Tom got two planes. After the third wish, Tom died. What was the third wish? He asked for AIDS and then the guy got double AIDS. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he just, he said just like, like, Kill me halfway. Oh, no, he's like, give me like a mild heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy got like double heart attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what do you think it is? It has to be something bad. <laughs> I think double, double AIDS probably takes it. <laughs> double AIDS. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going double AIDS. The answer is Josh asked the genie to beat him half to ten. Oh, oh goodness. Yikes. Henry is trapped by a maniac. Wait, he's not the maniac? The psycho knows that Henry is claustrophobic. <gasps> oh, don't scare him like that. He offers him a deadly game. Henry must choose one of the doors and get out of it. If he stays in the room, the walls will close in and smash oh, him. Oh, so yeah, that's his incentive to get out of here. Okay, yeah. A tiny narrow elevator going down to the street. He's not oh, gonna no, like that. Please, no. A bottomless pit. <gasps> Yeah. Bottomless though. It's falling forever. Oh. A room without exit. Oh, that'll freak them out. I don't know what door. That is weird because they all seem pretty bad. Uh, I would take the tiny narrow elevator because I would think that the maniac's like trying to like test my fear. Okay, so basically you want him to man up, go on the elevator and escape to his freedom? Yeah, grow a pair of balls, get in that tiny yeah. elevator. Yeah, grab your hairy balls <laughs> and just get in that elevator. Oh, let's go, Cassie. Even if Henry has a claustrophobic attack in the elevator, he can get to the street and escape. Exactly. Face your fears. Exactly. Who is in bigger danger? A guy freaking out because a monster under the bed is pulling him. <laughs> or B, a freaking ghoul is in her face when she got the strap, Cassie. She has a gun. Uh, I definitely would not want to be A. A is my worst fear. Like, even looking at it, it makes me want to puke. Yeah, like, what is that? Is that, like, Bigfoot? What? Wait, 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 what? 
A gun will do nothing to a zombie. Yes, it will. Shoot him in the brain. I thought it was an alien. Ben and Ted were best friends. Aw, yeah. cute. They liked hanging out together after school. One evening, Ben and Ted were walking home through the park. Suddenly, they heard a strange noise behind the bushes. Oh, puppy! In a second, a zombie showed up. Ben immediately took his heavy school bag off. And he's gonna do some jujitsu. Why? This zombie runs faster than we do. <laughs> he's just like, hold this, and just runs. He'll catch us anyway. <gasps> Why did Ben take the school bag off? Because there's food in his backpack and that's what he wants? Yeah, maybe he had a brain in his backpack. A <laughs> brain in his backpack. All right, guys, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe in bio, they like dissected a rabbit and he like put it in his backpack. It'll be easier for him to outrun Ted. Gotcha, bitch. Oh! oh! The zombie will catch Ted. Well, Ben will have time to escape. That is so messed up. A famous magician did a one night only performance in the town. The audience was delighted. The magician was preparing for his final trick. Now this one's a doozy. You gotta watch out for this one. His assistant cuffed him and he jumped into the water. Several minutes passed and the assistant started to look worried. He was supposed to break free of his handcuffs, but it didn't happen. Finally, the assistant removed the cover. Oh! Oh! <laughs> And everybody saw the magician dead inside the tank. Cover the, the kid's eyes. <laughs> and examined the body. Yeah, nobody looked. <laughs> <laughs> the detective identified three suspects. There were suspects? I thought the cuffs were just messed up. I took the cuffs from the box behind the scene as usual. I did everything I was supposed to do. I didn't know there was something wrong with them. One of the toilets clogged. <laughs> oh, sure, Morty. I was calling the plumber. I was preparing props for the next trick. I mean, it had to have been the props man, right? Because the props man is the guy who makes the props. Oh, okay, so it's him because he messed be. with the prop. The yes. magician was performing his final trick. He didn't need any more props. Oh, yeah, duh. A psycho put you into his trunk. That's no, you, Cassie. Not me, no. And drove you to a remote area with no people nearby. She was a place where you will live alone for three weeks. If you manage to survive, I will let you go. Uh, Walmart. There are three options. <laughs> <laughs> a desert with a couple of cacti, a sunny meadow with a banana and a glass of water. Oh, how cute. A beach with sharp rocks and stormy sea. That is the most random thing ever. Which place would you choose? So I'm guessing you choose the one with the ocean, right? No, because it's salt water. I'm guessing we're drink we're living off a of cactus juice for three weeks. I was going to go with that, but you know what? Just to be different, I'm going to go with the sea. There is a bucket there that could help. Yeah, and maybe that thing can take out the salt, whatever that is on the left. Yeah, Jay will just strain the salt out of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's no water in the desert. You'd die soon. What about my That's cactus right. juice? I know. You can't survive on a banana and a glass of water. Yeah, silly. The beach is the best choice. The sea would provide you with food and water if you use the stuff around. Come on! <laughs> what is there actually gonna conveniently be stuff around? So you have a bucket, you have a cup, seawater, plastic bag. Okay, there are plastic bags there. A stone... I'm learning. Leave it out in the sun to get fresh What? Oh my goodness, I did not even know that. I'm learning today. Yeah, we can survive, guys. It started raining. That's it, it just started raining, Cassie. It's, it, he gross. sees a bunker right in front of him. <laughs> and enters it. <laughs> Ooh. The door shuts behind his back. Because doors do that sometimes. Noah looks around and realizes, oh, geez, at least we know that? his name is Noah, <laughs> that he is right in front of a portal to parallel worlds. <gasps> there are two entrances, one to werewolf world and oh. one to zombie world. Oh. Noah can't open the bunker door. No, I Let me out no, of no, here. No, 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 no. I would die in there. He can't stay inside the bunker either, as there is no food or water here. He has to choose one of the worlds and go there. There are some weapons in the bunker, a gun with three silver bullets, and a baseball bat. Well, I'm going to zombie world with the bat. Noah can grab both of them. Oh, he can get both. Which world should he go into? Zombie no, world. No, no, no. I'm going to werewolf world. Why? Because, like, what if I could, could be what if I could be converted to a werewolf? I would much rather be a werewolf than a zombie. That's a stretch, Cassie. They'll just kill you. But, I mean, if they're both gonna kill me, I would much rather be a werewolf and, like, try to take that chance. Okay, for werewolf world, he'll spend all silver bullets really fast. Oh, really, no, really fast. I was wrong. <laughs> I was right. No, why? <laughs> a baseball bat won't help him fight a werewolf. Yeah, you see this guy? He does not work a bat. 
But if he goes to zombie world, a bat is a perfect weapon to fight zombies. <sighs> And it'll last long. Yeah, I guess so. Cassie, I have one more question for you. What? In this picture, who will survive? A guy with tomatoes just piling all over his scared body. Okay. Apples piling all over this guy's scared body. Uh, okay, so what would you rather take? I think I would take the tomatoes because they're a little bit softer. And they're a little lighter. And I can break into them easier. No! You don't want that. No! <laughs> I don't accept that, Cassie. We need to march down to seven second riddles offices. I'm going to. Let's go. I'm going. I'm on my way. All right. I'm leaving. All right. I'm actually, Me too. I'm, I'm about going. to pack my bags. All right. Well, before we go, they should watch your video, right? On yes. your channel? Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. We're all going to go to seven second riddles headquarters. <laughs> tell them to answer that tomato apple question. But first, make sure you guys check out Cassie's video. I'm in it too. You know, we do more riddles on there. So go and check it out right now. And then... Then we're gonna go to seven second riddles headquarters, <laughs> right Cassie? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna bring a bucket of tomatoes and Jay's gonna bring a bucket of apples. And we're just gonna throw it at them yeah. so they give us the answer. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Riddles with Cassie. If you guys would like to see more of this series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!